this is Trisha and Phil from SkiTalk.com. Today we are inviting you into our back shop where we do all of our ski prep when we get ready to take skis out on the snow and connect with our testers and bring information to you. And one of the things that really resonates with me is the variety of tools there are out there. One of the questions we have is what vice do you use? Well, there are a lot of vices to choose from and we're going to show you what they are today. Toko has four main vices in their collection. They're going to start off with their Ski Vice Express, which is a basic two-part vice system, and then they're going to segue into three-part systems, which would be the Ski Vice Race and the Ski Vice Free Ride, and then their premier vice that we're going to get talk about also is the Ski Vice World Cup. So we're going to start out today with the Ski Vice Express right. and show a few more of the tools that we use when we use it. Right. So Phil, tell okay. me about it. The Ski Vice Express is Toko's entry level vice. It's a great vice if you're limited with, a, you don't have a lot of space, or if you're traveling a lot, you don't have a lot to take with you. So this is really nice. Now with this, since we do not have a center fixation point, we're going to want to expand these out as far as we can when we're working on our skis. This is a really nice feature of this bench. Right. So on our table here, and then we're just going to lock these expansion arms up, snug them up here so we get minimal amount of lateral movement. We're going to take our ski here. And then since we have these near the ends here, so when we're pressuring down the ski, we don't have to worry about that ski flipping up. So if we're scraping our ski, we can do that fairly easily, or if we're working on our bases, we can do that. Now, this vice is also capable of putting at a 60 degree angle here on the side. So if we are working on our edges, we've got that downward pressure spot on this. So this is the Ski Vice Express, and this comes in at a little over $100 with an MSRP of $105. That's a really great entry-level light. Yep, so you've got good options here to go with. Again, for somebody who doesn't have a lot of space, this is a really good way to go. So the next step, Phil, is which vice? We're going to go to two options as a next level, which is going to give us our center fixation device, and that is going to be the Ski Vice race and also the free ride difference being the race is going to be come out to about a 90 millimeter width so designed more for narrower skis and the and the free ride that we have shown here goes out to 155 millimeters so it goes out to accommodate those wider skis so in these two in these two vices the Race is going to retail at about $170, the free ride at $260. The free ride will do pretty much everything the race will do. The race won't do everything the free ride will do. But when we're working on our ski now, so if we do want that center fixation, and both of these vices also do use the same stanchions as the entry level vice, so we move up a step on that. So for here, I might bring this in a little bit for a little more support here. And the thing with these stanchions too is in the adjustment of them, you wanna bring them in and out enough where you can get a good connection here in the center. So we've got some options here as far as with if we're using the the free ride here is we can attach to either the sidewall of the ski, or in this case here, where I do have a plate on the ski, we can attach to the plate. And like our other, uh, like using these with the free ride express, we do have the ability of putting the ski at that 60 degree angle. So again, if we're going to be doing our edges through here. So in this middle range with these two options, you do have a lot of flexibility. So having this here, which is really nice if you're going to be mounting it on a table, mm -hmm. um, it works really well and also does travel well. And as also as a note, with these and also our next World Cup vice is you also get brake retention bands with all of the vice purchases. That's pretty nice. Yeah. So next up, Phil, is the World Cup vice. Correct. Tell me about that. Okay. Now this is Toko's premium consumer grade vice system. Okay. So we've got our center clamp here, which will go out to about 100 millimeters, but we've got ends now that actually are adjustable as far as up spring loaded here and also will come at our angle here 
on these guys. We'll lock that back in and get that ready to attach the ski. So why do they come up and up and down, you ask, Trish? That's what I... <laughs> so, because if we've got that ski in here in the vise and we're attaching to the base here and say we're attaching to our race plate, we've got a ski that's going to move up and down some. So oh, what we do cool. now is we let this come up here a little bit, let that come up a little bit also. Now we've got a really strong foundation to hold that ski. So again, if we're doing some edge work here or we're really working hard to scrape that ski, we've got a really good connection to, this, to the ski and it's not going to be flopping back and forth. Now, the other difference that we have here with this is, as I release this, and Vanna White here is going to hold our ski, is we can release this up here now, bring this at our 60 degree angle, lock this in here again. Now we'll take our ski. So if we are going to be doing some edge work, we can snug that up there. Snug this up here. And now we're going to actually show you Toko's World Cup Edger. And again, we've got a work direction here on this. And now we're going to take our edger here and bring it on our ski and do our edges. So to give you an idea how that works, um, I do recommend, and Toku also does recommend, is to use some sort of mask on that, and that's why I'm not going to get into this a little more, but you do want to wear uh, some sort of respirator there. So you've got now a vise here that has a little more flexibility. So again, if you want to work this straight up and down, release that on the side there. So we can bring that up so and lock that in too. So it really depends on how you want to work the ski. And that's where this vice really gives you a lot of options for that. Uh, and this vice here is going to come in a little more expensive at a little over $200 at $220. Still a bargain with all the features you get. Right. For what you're, you're getting a lot of vice with this. So again, for, for somebody that's doing a lot of tuning and working on a lot of skis and they need that nth degree of fixation you do have that there i'm really impressed with that phil it's down to the wire yep it's time to talk about the king of vices the biggest the baddest that toko is bringing to you today in your back shop the toko double ski vice yep. get your wallets open this is not <laughs> an inexpensive vice system but for that person that is doing a lot of tuning you might do a lot of race mm -hmm. race kids uh you're mounting a lot of skis and such at your house or even for the professionals that are watching here that have your your ski your ski shops this is a vice that should be part of your vice repertoire absolutely so it's a little bit different than the vices that we just talked about which are a little more your travel mm -hmm. vices they're designed to go on to tuning stands and take them on and off and this the, one here is a hard yeah mount. the first thing that i noticed when i look at this is you don't have the t traditional clamp underneath no. you have a rail back here that is hard mounted to the table and this is screwed to the table it's not going anywhere right right this is for somebody that's got a tuning bench um and or a table however you do it in your garage or your tuning center so but we've got we got vice system here and it's got some of the attributes of our earlier vices such as the the ends here coming up and down Trish will show you that there so connections here then in the center we have the ability of different widths that this will accommodate anywhere from Trish says like a snow blade up to a snowboard I mean, we've got a lot of flexibility here as far as the width that this can work with. Well, and because you can move these on the rail, you can also accommodate that Super G ski that you wanted to. Correct, correct. And if we take a ski here and for the people that are doing some serious work at home and maybe mounting skis, if we've got our ski here and we've got some movement here in the center, we don't want that when we're, when we're mounting a ski. So we're going to adjust these ends down a little bit so this sits flush in here and then we've got a solid plate here so if i am mounting a ski i've got my template here take the drill zit, 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 
and find the spots as far as far as for your mounting. So you've got that as far as stability there. If we're working on the edges, while some of our other vices do have the ability of going 60 degrees as far as our angles, this one here, it locks in at the 90, still easy to work on our on our edges here. But as far as if you're looking for a solid long-term vice system coming in at $770, this is a consideration for you. For the guy or the gal that thinks they have everything, you probably don't have this yet. So you're able to set up a fast ski on this because a fast ski is a fun ski and, and ski is, is fun. fun. If you enjoyed this informative video, hit that bell, subscribe so that you'll stay up to date on the new videos and check out SkiTalk.com for more ski related content. Also, please follow SkiTalk.com on all of your social media channels. No scenes from Hot Dog the Movie were quoted during the production of this video.